Gandias randomly came to me and said, hey, do you want to review the Hevista headset? So I said, yeah, sure. I mean, it looks amazing. And well, <laughs> it is amazing. Except there are a few cons which I will talk about in this video. Hey guys, it's Mahal here with Techno Perspective and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gamdias Hephaestus headset which is the top of class headset out of the Gamdias lineup. It has virtual 7.1 surround sound audio which is pretty good from the sound but does it actually sound good? Well, I'm going to talk to you about that. So the headset itself does sound good. I enjoyed gaming with it and using the headset as soon as I went onto it I actually improved two ranks on CSGO yes it did make that difference because I could hear the footsteps and the explosions from the right side and I knew where to go this headset was pretty good however did I feel like I was surrounded by the game did I feel immersed no I didn't for some reason that 7.1 surround sound I just didn't feel it this headset has a quite nice design it's white and it has a grey headband which is just basically cushion and the cushions on the ear cups are also quite nice the Gamdias logo itself on the right side and the left side actually illuminates to a yellow colour while there is a line that goes around it like a circle that illuminates in red you cannot change the colours of this so literally you are stuck with just yellow and red illumination which does go nicely together however I really don't like the fact that you can't change the colours especially on the price tag I mean there is software for the Gamdias headset although it's not the great software it's pretty basic and pretty poor but anyways you should be able to do it this headset is really customizable as you can change the type of audio you want you can change it to the environment and the software allows you to do a lot of things it has inline controls where you can mute the mic or enable the mic I don't use this because I don't use the mic on the headset the volume up and down button and there is some sort of notifications button on the side which you can adjust to your liking I prefer uh, personally did not know what this actually did so I just left it alone at what it was however if you do want to adjust that then you can at the back there is a clip which you can use to clip on uh, the headset to your shirt or anywhere which well, it's quite convenient except look at this there's a sliding shot and it just shows you this awful problem so yeah I don't like this headset for this problem and this problem was so big that I'll actually stop using the headset if Gamdias fixed this then they are in the money because they have got good sound and average mic which you'll hear now and well this problem I'm going to pass you over to the last part of the video which will have a sound quality test. So if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, comment below and subscribe. I would like to say thank you to Gamdias for sending this headset out to me for review. It wouldn't be possible without them. Thank you for contacting me. I've had the delight of reviewing this. What you're actually hearing now is from the mic itself. So this is a sound quality test for the Gamdias Hephaestus headset and well I sound like an air hostess the mic isn't too great but anyways that's how it is so that's why I'm not using the Yeti you can see there's a significant difference but it'll be good enough for gaming however don't use this for stuff like YouTube so like I said this is Mel here with Techno Perspective reviewing the Gamdias Hephaestus headset and I will see you in the next video peace out guys